Welcome to Stave Draws. I'm Stave van der Groot, a Dutch illustrator and animator, but you can call me Stave. In this tutorial, I'm going to explain how I make the animations for my other YouTube channel, which is called Like So. And I'm going to do that in a software program called Anime Studio Pro. In previous videos, I showed you how to draw a background or a forest with parcels and a deer with parcel pencils. And in this video, I'm going to combine these two elements in Photoshop and animate everything in Anime Studio Pro. So I took uh, some pictures of the deer I drew with parcel pencils and also with a parcel background and I imported them into Photoshop and now I'm going to adjust the background and I'm going to use the, the crop tool for that and just to crop whatever I need for the background. And on top of this background I'm going to import the illustration of the deer and I'm just going to copy it and paste it into the PSD file of the background. What I need to do is to uh, erase the background uh, of the illustration of the deer. I first tried the, the magic wand but that didn't work because there was a little bit too much structure into the paper so now I'm using a lasso tool. You can get the lasso tool uh, at the left side or press letter L. I just deleted the, the big parts and now I'm erasing the paper with an erase tool. And if you use your brackets you can make your eraser bigger or smaller. What I mostly do is uh, create a another layer with a contrasting color so it's better for me to see where uh, the paper is and that I don't erase too much information. What I'm doing now is uh, erasing all the paper and I want um, this deer to have a transparency so I can animate it later in Anime Studio Pro. So it is very detailed work because a deer has of course uh, many hairs and you know you just want to keep it uh, natural as natural as possible now I've finished uh, erasing all the paper and I'm now just going to see if everything will fit within um, the total composition and when I tilt it uh, I still can see some excess um, paper and I'm just going to delete that uh, and erase it with the eraser. Because I always want to have a, a clean layer with the character on it and the bottom we're not going to see so that's okay and so with levels I enhance the, the contrast of the deer because the deer needs to stand out and the background is just the background so if you press Command L, you get your levels, and then with the sliders, you can adjust the contrast of your image. I'm now going to try and uh, blur out the background and I'm using different kinds of blurs. And with the sliders, you can adjust the blur. And I don't want it to blur too much because. I like the structure of the parcel painting. So I'm now using a, um, a Gaussian blur. That's much easier because you can see right on your canvas what you're doing. And with the slider you can adjust the, the blur. I'm not going to do it in the layers of my PSD file because I will add 
the blur in Anime Studio Pro. But I'll show you that later. Uh, I'm just naming all the layers. So it's a background and a deer. I'm now going to import it into Anime Studio Pro. So I'm opening Anime Studio Pro 11. I first have to make it HD, 1920 by 1080. Now I can import uh, the PSD. And the great thing about working in Anime Studio Pro is that you can import the PSD file and then if you choose individually, it will make uh, PNGs from all your layers in your PSD file. And if you make adjustments to your PSD file, Anime Studio Pro will update them. So I'm now just um, in Anime Studio Pro and um, making my composition and when you press Command R, you get a preview of your rendering. And this is uh, what the final shot will look like. I'm now adding bones to the layer of the deer, because that's the, the great thing about working with Anime Studio Pro is that you can take a PNG file and add bones to it. And when you animate the bones, I'll show you later, then the structure of your PNG file will follow the, the bones you're animating with. So the, the structure of your pastel drawing will remain the same. And now just setting up the bones and the biggest bone is in the body of the deer. That's the mother bone and all the other bones are child bones and you can link them together. I have a bit of a structure into your bone setup. And this is just me trying out what I want with my animation and how I can achieve it with just using the bones. And I'm just trying out some new bones and see what works and what doesn't work. Because the, the deer needs to burl and uh, I see now that there's some strange artifacts going on on the back of the deer. So I have to um, add some bones and constraints to the back of the deer because I don't want that to move around when he's moving his neck. The great thing about uh, animating in Anime Studio Pro is, is that you have a camera and you can uh, put your layers into depth and the um, deer is closer to, to the camera and when you move the camera around you get a, a multiplane effect. It's like the same like uh, uh, Disney did with the multiplane uh, camera which has different uh, layers as well, but this is the digital form of it. So when you move the camera around, um, you get a depth of field sense of your scene. And I'm now applying uh, a blur to the background. So I'm going to maybe do a blur of 5%. I'm going to make some adjustments to the character because it needs to stand out a little bit more and I think the edges are too uh, too rough or too, uh, too straight. So I'm going to add some highlights to the deer and I'm uh, going to draw some hairs. And I'm using the uh, eyedropper tool when you, you're drawing in Photoshop. Uh, with your brush and you press down the alt key then you get the eyedropper and in this way you can really adjust your files very fast so you pick out the color and then you can draw right away and these are just going to be tiny hairs you know to make the 
idea blend a little bit more with the background. And I'm going to add some highlights to his ears and some highlights to his eyes. And I need to erase this little piece between his ears and his horns because that needed to be uh, transparent. I forgot about that. And just add a little bit more of a contrast to the entire idea. Should add some highlights to his tongue. And I'm using a, a pastel brush or a pencil brush so it remains within the style of my pastel pencil drawing. The nice thing about uh, the new Anime Studio Pro 11 is that uh, all the adjustments you make in your PSD file in your Photoshop, it will be updated by Anime Studio Pro while you're still working on it. So I'm now trying out um, a test animation to see if all the bones are rigged right. And below you see the keyframes. Uh, that's uh, the timeline of Anime Studio Pro. And you can adjust the keyframes and those are those red dots. And there you can adjust your timing with. And on whatever keyframe you're on and when you make an adjustment to your bones then it will set a new set of keyframes. I studied some uh, deer burling uh, from YouTube videos and I'm trying to you know, make it as, as realistic as possible. And this is uh, just a test animation. And later on I will do the final animation based upon the soundtrack of a burning deer. Well, I forgot to uh, animate the uh, breath of the deer. And that's a great way of working with Anime Studio Pro is that it has a lot of different um, media brushes. So I'm now using a bit of a, a cloud brush and with this I will draw the basic shape of a cloud or his breath of the deer when he's burning the breath comes out of his mouth. Most of the time they burl in the morning or in the late afternoon. I just want to animate that and what's nice about drawing uh, or animating with Anime Studio Pro is that you can animate the vector points. So that's what I'm going to adjust in this scene. And you know, you can move it around on your, uh, on your timeline and you can adjust the points with your select tool. And with the magnetic tool, you can adjust more points at the same time. Just trying out some, some things and here is the magnetic tool and you can see that, you know, you can select more points. And this is the work area of Anime Studio Pro and when you press Command R you can see the final rendering. I'm now going to do uh, a test um, rendering of the animation and you have a lot of different formats you can export to. I'm now I'm going to do an MP4 and I'm now going to show you the final rendering of the scene I did and you can also see it on the Like So channel. You can go there as well and if you like the animations uh, or the YouTube channel you can also subscribe to that channel. To attract the attention of the females, 
You can hear this far away in the forest. The males also fight with each other. I hope you like this video. If you like it, please give it a thumbs up. If you want me to do more tutorials on working in Anime Studio Pro, please let me know in the comments. Drawing is fun and practice makes perfect. See you next time. Doodles!